here is your question Right, so if you have read and understood, considering it's surgical anatomy station, kindly tell me what are you looking at? Um, I'm looking at the lateral surface, lateral side of the neck from the left side. Okay, good. Can you tell me how would you divide the neck of a human being into different parts or different uh, triangles? Neck is divided into uh, anterior triangle and the posterior triangle uh, by the sternal gluteomastoid muscle. Very good. Yes. The anterior triangle uh, is bounded uh, anteriorly by the midline of the neck, superiorly by the uh, mandible and the uh, posteriorly by the anterior border of the sternal gluteomastoid. While posterior triangle is bounded by the anteriorly by the posterior border of the sternocleidomastoid, posteriorly by the anterior border of the trapezius, uh, base is formed by the uh, clavicle and the apex is formed when the two muscles of sternocleidomastoid and trapezius join at the level of the occipital bone. Would you be able to recognize, just suppose it's a human being, uh, you can imagine it's a human being and if I point at this structure which is supposed to be labeled for can you identify it this is sternocleidomastoid muscle please tell me the attachment of this muscle uh, sternocleidomastoid uh, is attached to the uh, it has two heads the sternal yes. head and the yes. head yes the sternal head is attached to the uh, upper surface of the sternum and the clavicular head is attached to the between the and uh, anterior and the middle one third of the clavicle. What is the nerve supply and action of this muscle? Uh, Sternocleido uh, mastoid uh, helps in the. Uh, you can come back to this later. Okay. So, can you please tell me the all the small triangles that you mentioned in the anterior triangle or the sub triangles present in the anterior? triangle what are their contents and if you can look at this diagram and identify which one would be number two and number 13 and then number eight and number 11 if you okay. can please start with number 11 it is the submental triangle yes 13 is, the 13 is the submandibular or the digastric triangle okay number three is the carotid triangle while number eight is the muscular triangle. What are the contents of the carotid triangle, please? Carotid triangle consists of carotid sheath, which is formed by the common carotid artery, vagus nerve, internal jugular vein, and also apart from carotid sheath, ansa cervicalis is also present in the carotid triangle. And that is not included in uh in the carotid no. sheet. It's outside. No. Very good. Okay, can yes. you please tell me what are you looking at now? I'm looking at the uh, anterior surface and uh, surface of the neck with vessels and certain glands. And... Anterior dissected section of the neck, yes. And with viseras, can you identify this viscera, which is this big in front of the neck? Yes. Uh, F is the right lobe of the thyroid, with okay. E being the isthmus of the thyroid. So this is the thyroid gland. 
All right. Can you tell me what are the parts of the thyroid gland? It consists of two lobes, right and left, which are joined in the middle with the help of isthmus. Good. What is the blood supply? When I ask blood supply, you tell me both arterial and venous, please. The uh, blood supply consists of the uh, first, the arterial supply is by the superior thyroid artery, which is a branch of external carotid artery, and the inferior thyroid artery, uh, which is a branch of the thyrocervical trunk of subclavian artery. And the venous supply consists of three veins, which is superior and middle veins, middle superior and middle thyroid veins, which drains into the internal jugular vein, while the inferior thyroid vein drains into the brachiocephalic vein. Okay. Can you tell me uh, what is the lymphatic drainage of the thyroid and why is it important? Uh, I'll come back to this question uh, okay. later on. Yes. Can you please identify number C over here? Number C. It seems to be the uh, cut surface of the uh, external carotid artery. Okay. What uh, what lies or what is in the posterior relation of the thyroid gland? Posterior to the thyroid gland. Is the recurrent laryngeal nerve? Uh, it's something else. You have to think. Mm, they are four in number, two on each side. What is it? Yes. Posterior relation? Uh, they, uh, they are parathyroid glands, yes. which are lying clearly to the thyroid. At what level are they located? Uh, they are located at the level of uh, C4, C5. Yes, at the level of thyroid cartilage. Vertical level of thyroid cartilage. Okay. Can you please tell me why does sometimes thyroid moves up with deglutition? The thyroid gland is present in the pretracheal fascia, which is attached to the both to the thyroid cartilage and the thyroid bone. So whenever in swallowing, uh, the muscles of mastication pull the thyroid bone. It also pulls, pulls the pretracheal fascia along with the thyroid cartilage. Uh, which uh, leads to the de uh, moving up of the gland with the deglutination. Also, it is attached to the second to fourth tracheal rings by the bar Barry's ligament. Very and it good. also very good. Can you please tell me uh, how the the formation of thyroglossal cyst is done in embryology or during development? Uh, during development, thyroid gland first is formed from the foramen cecum. And then it descends down from the tip of the tongue. Uh, in any case, when there is a descent or uh, in the pathway of the thyroid gland, the remnant is formed, which is known as thyroid uh, thyroglossal duct. And uh, 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 when this thyroglossal duct gets infected, it leads to the formation of a thyroglossal duct cyst. Okay, good. Thank you. We're moving on. Right. If you can tell me the, if you can first identify this blue structure, and please tell me the formation of it. Uh, eleven number is uh, external jugular vein. Yes. And how is it formed? It uh, arises from the uh, angle of the mandible from the parotid gland. Yes. Uh, then. Then. Uh, then it descends. Uh, downwards from medial to lateral uh, superficial to the sternocleidomastoids and then further drains into the subclavian vein. Okay, good. Thank you. Good. Thank you. I, I missed the 